Hi, uh, so right now I'm going to be trying in action a new AI web agent for automation. It will look online for me. Uh, it can click through the different web pages and uh, it can extract information. It can write information. So here's what I'm going to ask it to do. I will ask it to go on Amazon and find uh, and find a good uh, business book for personal development that is priced under $20 for paperback. And then I want it to be delivered to my Canadian address, to my current Canadian address. So let's, um, let's actually paste our prompt. This is a prompt. Uh, and I will click on send. And let's see what's going to happen. Uh, it's actually very easy to set up uh, set up this a uh, nano browser. It is an open source. Uh, uh, okay, so there is a issue there. Uh, okay, just let's just create another one. There you go. Run. Navigation failed. The extensions gallery cannot be scripted. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I've asked it to perform a similar task before. It was doing a bunch of different weird things. All right, so it's still stuck. Let's open again a new tab. We'll paste on our, our prompt and click Submit. Finally. So it's going on Amazon. And now I need it to go into navigation. Okay, it's typing the search. All right, so unfortunately it failed again. I had multiple failed attempts and I'm not sure how to go around it. It clicks through Amazon, it looks for data but it just doesn't doesn't get forward. So how about I will ask it to buy a book again, but I'll try to be a bit more specific. Okay, so in my request, I'll tell it on, to go on Amazon and buy uh, the highest rated book, uh, provided that it's under twenty dollars for a paperback. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell it to validate any of the books because it's just uh, not going to go anywhere. I'm going to keep this prompt simpler than the previous one and let's see what's going to happen. So I'll click send. All right, finally, good news. Uh this agent has finally been able to purchase a book for me. Uh, the order has been placed and will be delivered to my uh, to my home address. Uh, it approximately took two hours for the agent to complete this task, and I had to be next to it supervising it. It wasn't as smooth that I uh, as I originally expected. So this agent, as of right now, definitely has some limitations. Uh, the limitations being is that uh, it cannot look at different um, uh, at different web pages. I mean, it could technically, but it, when you ask it to research something, it just opens Google and start clicking on uh, one page one by one, and it takes forever to for it to digest that information to scroll through it, uh, and then when you uh, when uh, when there is a lot of results, it uh, it just gets uh, stuck, and then sometimes there are a Cloudflare anti-bot protection, so it also doesn't like those. So it fails uh, quite often when when it just gets uh, stuck in those loops. And the other time, it went on Reddit, uh, trying to search for information on Reddit. Uh, it was just going through the comments, going and going and going, and didn't lead anywhere. Um, so that's that's the main limitation is that when you're asking it to research something online, don't expect it as of its current 
uh, in its current implementation to actually go and research something online. I think you'd be better off if you perform this task through an existing chatbot and then give a very specific task to this agent to perform. And even then, when I gave a specific task uh, to it, it still was, you know, looking and it got st stuck on Amazon, looking through different filters. So it didn't, uh, it, 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 it also had a few failed, um, uh, failed attempts. Uh, the whole process was a bit tedious. Uh, the other limitation of this agent is that it, uh, while it's capable of working with online uh, online text editing and document editing tools such as Google Sheets, uh, such as Microsoft Excel Online, uh, Google Docs. I've tried it, but it's uh, it, it, it gets confused. It uh, clicks on the wrong cells. It doesn't do what it needs, uh, what you need it to do. So I, I think uh, we are uh, a bit of a, there. there is still a bit of a gap that uh, this agent has to solve, but it's open source. That's nice. It's, it was quite easy to to configure the API. Uh, what, uh, what I was using is Google Gemini 2.5 Pro for uh, the planner, uh, for the... Um, uh, so for the planner, I was using Gemini 2.5 Pro. For Navigator, I was using 2.5 Flash and uh, Validator 2.5 Pro. Uh, super easy to configure. Uh, you just uh, select a provider. Uh, I want to use Gemini, but you can uh, put any any AI provider with an API key. So that, that part was very easy. Uh, I suggest you try it out and may, maybe you could uh, figure out how, how to make it more useful. Maybe I'm uh, giving it wrong prompts. Uh, possibly uh, it, uh, it could be doing other things better. Uh, I see the great potential behind it. If it's more autonomous and you give it uh, a better, like a better instruction, then it should be able to, to execute hands off. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know if, uh, if you got other cool ideas.